What's up guys, Kenny here and welcome to my most expensive player review so far. This is, review is going to be on the Inform Radamel Falcao and I mean look at him, this guy is a monster. Let's go on to his on-card stats. He's got 80 pace, 87 shooting, 80 dribbling and 92 heading. So those stats are probably some of the best stats you're going to see on a striker all year on the game. Well if we go in there, 510,000 coins. Uh, unfortunately, he's not mine. I did borrow him. I've borrowed a lot of players recently, um, including like an Inform Aston South. So I've got reviews coming on a lot of them soon. So big shout out to Farouk01. I'll put his Twitter in the description. He doesn't do YouTube, so I said I'd link his Instagram instead. Not that any of you use Instagram, but the point's there. So he's got 30 goals in 21 games for me. He got 3 in 12 for the guy before me, so obviously something's gone wrong there. But, as you can see, he's got an overall record of 33 goals in 33 games. He's got 4-star skills, which is really nice. You can do the chop. You can do pretty much all the skills I use. Berber spins, rainbow flicks, chops, and all that good shit. And obviously, he's right-footed, but he's got that like 5-star weak foot, so on his left foot, he can still crack in a bullet. And it's just as good as his right-foot shooting. Unfortunately, he's 5 foot nine, and that is something I'm now going to go on to. So, we're going to go through each of his stats. Uh... I'm going to leave pace out because I'm going to call this guy man with two faces. He's got 87 shooting. That is absolute godly. You put him through on goal and he's almost guaranteed to score every time. Unfortunately, for some reason, his long shots don't seem very good. I think his in-game stat for long shot is 80. But I'll have the in-game stats after this. Then he's got 60 passing, which actually feels really nice for some reason. I'm playing him next to Lewis Muriel in my squad. I'll show you a picture of the squad after this. Um, so he does play some nice three balls for Muriel to run onto because obviously Muriel's a bit faster. 80 dribbling, oh my god, this guy is he's just fantastic at dribbling. I don't know if any of you have watched Shiv or Rated PG Tips review of him, but his review said his, uh, his dribbling wasn't that good when I actually think he's very, very good. Um, defending obviously doesn't matter in his heading, it's 92. He's actually very, very good in the air, but that is only when he actually manages to get there, and there isn't a over six foot defender. Obviously, he is only five foot nine, so no matter how good his jumping is, he's going to have to jump a long way. And unfortunately, at corners, he's not really effective, but if you do cross it in and he's there, he will often leap ahead of a defender and score. I've got about three or four headers with him. So we move on to man with two faces. So he's got 80 pace. So basically, with 80 pace, he's worth about 100,000 coins at the most. He's absolutely shocking. I was getting so frustrated with him. I think I had about four goals in 10 games, but man with two faces turned up. I don't know if many of you can guess what I'm about to do. I'm going to flick through my consumables. I'm going to go along. I'm going to do what a lot of you hate. I'm going to put a pace card on him. Oh my god. He turns into special edition Messi. He has now got 98 pace. Coupled with his 92 heading, 87 shooting, and his 80 dribbling. This guy is the best striker in the game when you do that. He's better than anyone. He's better than Messi, Rooney, Van Persie, Torres, Aguero, all them strikers. He becomes the best striker in the game. So there is the man with two faces. We're now going to go on to his in-game stats. We're going to see how he looks in there. So we move on to the inform Falcao's in-game stats. And look at them. They really are spectacular. He's got 86 ball control, which means he's in and out of players. The ball doesn't leave his foot. Play it into him, he can bring it down. 88 curve, he's got great free kicks. And he's also, that helps towards his finesse. 80 dribbling, obviously he's got 99 finishing, which is why when you put him one-on-one, -on -one, finesse or power shot, it goes in. Heading accuracy is 98. So obviously if he does manage to connect with them headers, it's often going to go in on the chances he does connect. Long shot's 81, which is really, really disappointing. And it does show in game. So just moving on down, you can see we've got a nice blanket of stats again. 95 penalties, have got a penalty with him, he's really nice. Shot power 91, so again, if you put him clean through on goal, as long as you aim it towards a target, it's going to fly in. 96, what was that, I've skipped. 96 volleys, I've got a volley with him with his weak foot, actually, it was really nice. As you can see there, the normal, usual, and that is where it really starts to crank up. 99 acceleration due to the fact we've put a pace card on. 86 agility helps towards the dribbling. Jumping 96, reaction 96, sprint speed now 98 that we've put a card on him, stamina 84, 80 strength, this guy is so weak in game guys, you don't understand, because he's so small and if he didn't have a pace card on him, he just gets pushed off the ball. And he's also got 91 attack in position, so now I'm going to show you a lot of clips with Inform Radamel Falcao. Okay guys, so we are back with the clips for Inform Falcao and there is plenty of them, so there is going to be no shortage of footage for you to decide. If you want to buy Inform Falcao, and if you don't. 
So we're going to do the pros and cons as usual. Pros for sure the shooting. You'll see it. Look at this. He just brings it down. Oh, nice little uh, weak foot there. So obviously his shooting. He's got the five star weak foot. And you can see a lot of headed clips will come onto that. But his shooting is absolutely phenomenal. I reviewed the Informer I so I didn't think there would be anyone as good at shooting as him. But a Falcao, I think, has just pipped him to the post. His shooting is absolutely amazing. You'll see all over the park, whether it be right foot, left foot, volley on the floor, smash, finesse, anything that he can do it. Now, you'll see a lot of headed clips. What a uh, strike from Falcao first time there. You can see it comes back out, and again, it's a great finish there. So, again, heading, his jumping is amazing. I just crossed it in so many times, and Falcao's head soon made it. And that's just I thought I'd put it in there, a nice little rainbow flick. And it means he gets a foul. And a little bit of a sweaty goal there, but Falcao with his attacking position. And that is another amazing thing, his attacking position. So, the three pros, mainly, it's heading, it's shooting, and it's attacking position. Then there's the cons. There's pace. Oh, my God. Unless this guy's got a pace card on, he is... He's hardly, he hardly scores unless he's got a pace card on, guys. But man with two faces with pace card, best player in the game. Better than 99 Messi. So, look at that over the top. Weak foot smacking it in on the volley. And it's just fantastic. Look at this again. Weak foot smacking it in. So, again, strength. Because he's slow and he's not strong, it's very, very hard to get goals with him. And you can see there him just setting up Marchisio. So, without pace and strength, Although he has got four star skills which is nice and great dribbling. That's another thing, his dribbling is absolutely fantastic. And the other cons, nothing really. The only major con is his strength and pace which combines. So is he worth it guys? I paid 510,000. Well I didn't, it's Ali Farouk paid at 510,000. Link will be in the description below so be sure to go and check him out. Follow him on Twitter, and I don't know yet, he said he maybe put his Instagram link in. Not that any of you do use Instagram. Great penalty there, right into the side netting. So is he worth it? Possibly, let's, no, no. He's absolutely fantastic, and it's like every fan amazing player. The if you've got the coins to build a team around him, go for it. If you haven't, don't spend 600,000 coins on a team of 500,000 on Falcao, as I'll always say. If you've got a team to go and build him, yes. If you haven't got loads of coins, he is not worth it. He's just he wasn't he wasn't just such of an impact player. I had to put a pace card on it and that disappoints me. So I'm gonna give him about an 8 out of 10. Hopefully you've enjoyed this review. Be sure to leave a like, inform Neymar review and Benteke coming soon, and thank you very, very much for watching guys.